So this piece is called Then Again. It's another sort of creation myth, going back very early, almost to sort of our present time, but from the Martian's perspective. Um, and it really looks at what we call, or what we think of perhaps as, as progress and, and pushing scientific endeavor at whatever costs. And perhaps there would just be that little thing that we push too far, something unlooked for, something we don't see coming. And just changing one particular parameter of the delicate balance of the habitat, the environment in which we live, and, and, and that's it. You've broken it. You can't go back. So it's the idea of looking at that and, and yes, and, and just seeing that there, there's potential for this, this moment. Um, but being the fact that it's cre creation myth, it's the idea that this is not necessarily what happened, but it's just sort of a, perhaps an understanding from these future generations of what might have happened in the past. When their snuffling robotics discovered the whole planet empty, with not one squiggle of life to be found, but nonetheless gulped down small sterile packets of gas and grit to bring the long way back for analysis, and though they had no need for such a place, still they engineered new strains of plant life that might yet thrive in that wasteland but kept each pristine seed secure from being released on home turf, where soils and skies were simply far too rich. And when some seeds, of course, were smuggled out and secretly released and went completely haywire, turning the whole world toxic, just like that, so that the wind stopped working and the mountains malfunctioned, and the seas settled into a singular heaviness, and all breathing things were suddenly uncoupled from the tenuous chains that had for so long connected them to life. Those responsible turned their attentions back to that desolate planet and took great comfort in knowing they had alternative measures already in place.